So, Lisa's first time in Sostro. And this is Sostro Cemetery. The old one and the new one. So basically here, two thirds of my ancestors are from Lizzie. Chuck, oh, they have... Ne, ne smish. Lisa. Chuck, ne. So yeah. So yeah, they have. We are basically here. So this is the old, and this, this is also the old one, but this is the new section. And now they have. Ne, Lisa, ne smish. No dog was allowed, as you can see. So this is old park, but they have extended it. So this is the new one, new addition. So actually my great grandfather, he was a cemetery um, keeper. So he was not the grave digger, but you know, um, in charge of, you know, general maintenance. And yeah, he actually planted these trees. Oh, they have completely changed. I haven't been here. Yeah, during the COVID they have. This is all new. So this is the, the old cemetery wall. Here there used to be, well, this, let's say, this section to until the tree. It used to be, this used to be a, a children cemetery. But yeah, this, so this is the old and this is the new one. But here apparently you can go with dog. But now we will not. And so yeah. Oh, so this is the, the urns wall, so yeah. And the settlement there is Sostra. So the church is uh, dedicated to Saint Leonard, Leonard. Uh, so this church is actually um, built just before the end of the 19th century in 1890s they started to build it they replaced the old so this is basically the seat of the sostra district so um, sostra district is oh a cat over there. So Sostro district is actually the largest district by, you know, the size. But the least populated. Uh, yeah, because it's, you know, primarily still nice view. It's still, you know, primarily agriculture in nature. Oh yeah, they have built quite a lot of... So yeah, I haven't been here for several years now. Oh, 
the new bridge well bridge overpass over the currently it's basically nothing but in my grandfather's day they would actually it would be uh, water was there was so plentiful of water and basically oh there was so much water in this it was not lizzy grey i took it agree on as i no 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 took it um they could um they could use uh canoes but yeah now it's basically all regulated and just over there you can spot the top of the church tower so that is um sveti urh so saint ulrich would be in english i assume so during the second world war there was a uh, wow such a nice view of the surrounding areas and the clouds especially um so during the second world war and on the basically the church and uh, some other church buildings around it was seized by um first they were under italian occupation they were called you know village guards so they were collaborating with italians and then after italian um, capitulation in 43 they were renamed under german occupation as uh, home guards so and basically this um, church is known due to you know there were several dozen people people were killed tortured including some of my relatives and yeah basically you can still still see you know the old buildings but so the city center is indeed in, the, in this direction but you know closer to the city you get more and more newer buildings are constantly added But yeah, you know, and you then, you know, of course, um, agriculture is not, um, is disappearing slowly. So yeah, and this is the local elementary school. On the left is the old building. Tuki Griva. Tuki Griva. Yeah. And on the right is the new addition. Lisa Tuki. Basically the the this uh, building is a gym. But behind we can barely see it are also the new classrooms so yeah, in this uh, school my grandfather attended Tuki Greva Lizzy okay let's stop on this point because she has a lot of sniff, sniffing to do.